Welcome back. I'm a little married slut. Married slut right here. Second married slut. Right there. Boom. We freaking did it. I need to lay down. I was coming to snuggle with Wizard and then he just got up. <sighs> but okay sorry I have to wear a hat because well I wore one or well I guess I don't have to but I I just look like shit today which is a huge contrast to how I looked two weeks ago um but I'm dealing with a goddamn flare-up of my perioral dermatitis <laughs> which will be the third year in a row that I've had a flare-up in the spring what's up sensing a pattern here when it started it started right before the wedding and I was like oh stress related because I really find that like you know a lot of triggers people are like toothpaste um nasal spray whatever those have never been triggers for me mine always seemed random or stress related and I'm like maybe I'm just stressed in the spring for the last three years I don't know but it kind of seems like maybe there's like a seasonal allergy situation that's triggering it but anyway, I was hoping, it's like really mild. It's looking okay today because I haven't been wearing makeup or doing skincare, but even all of these, like all of that's part of it. And it's just itchy and itchy and it's starting to itch around my eyes and that's when I know it's getting worse. And I try like whenever it flares up, I try and doing nothing, but I'll be completely honest, I've never been able to get it under control without oral antibiotics. So I had to call telehealth today to get some and that's when i noticed when i saw like my history it was like the last two before this telehealth appointments was like last april and then the march before that and i'm like okay but anyway the first guy i got was a freaking asshole freaking asshole he was like literally acting like i was a drug seeker for doxycycline i'm like yes sir give me the diarrhea and yeast infection please give it to me rachel or whatever um he was just like, well, I can't refill your prescription. I was like, no one asked for that. Write me a new one. Like, as if I don't know how prescriptions work. Um, and he's like, well, how can I treat you if I can't see you? <laughs> Sir, this is Teladoc. That's literally how it works. Um, so eventually I just left. But then I did complain about him to Blue Shield because I was like, Anyway, the next guy, I called, literally called somebody else because you're just going to immediately get somebody else. The sweetest man. It was night and day. He was like, hello, how can I, oh no, what's going on? I told him, he's like, oh shoot. Well, yeah, let's get you feeling better. Wrote me a prescription. <laughs> Last guy said, not a venting machine. Get a life. Oh my god these young doctors I can't stand them um anyway that's what's up with me just looking at ugly is that like what happens it's like I was feeling vibrant and gorgeous on my wedding day and now I'm a wife and I'm like I've got a rash I need medicine it's like this is terrible <sighs> anyway Give me a couple days on the doxy. I'll be looking fine as hell. Um, but anyway, you guys, wedding, wedding. So here's the moment of truth. Was it worth it? Was it worth the money, the stress, the debt that we are currently in? Yes, I literally would have done it all over again. I would have paid double and I'd live in a shoebox on the street. How would I fit in a shoebox? Not my problem because my wedding was perfect. And it wasn't perfect, you know, it wasn't like picture perfect. I mean, some might argue it was, but it was just like, it was the feeling. It was the feeling, like there's nothing like it. Hi, okay, future me who's editing this video, I just have to hop on real quick and just say, yeah, I'm ticking. I'm ticking pretty bad in this video, and it's just because I had just had a Diet Coke earlier, and caffeine makes me tick harder. Um, 
just had to say it because somebody always always like what the fuck is wrong with you and it's like i have a tick get over it anyway i totally have empathy and understanding now for people that like post about their weddings for like five years because i'm like there's nothing like it there's nothing like that high and that love and just like it was perfect i'm so glad we did it the way we did it with having like a whole weekend away and everyone being together in one location it was just the best vibes so many people were literally like and mind you people travel this is, was not an easy place to get to and now i can finally share where it was this was in a little town called westport california and it's north of san francisco by like three hours on the california coast in a tiny tiny coastal town with like I don't even know what the population is, but it's got to be like two. <sighs> and so despite that, people were like, this is the best wedding I've ever been to. <laughs> Music to my ears. It was just such good vibes. Like I'm just, we really prioritized like being together and like it being intimate and feeling personal. And I feel like it just really came through and it just was so nice. It was like everyone just felt like they were on vacation. It was just the most beautiful location. The house where we stayed with our wedding party and like our family and friends all stayed in town and could walk over to the house. It was gorgeous. We saw the northern lights the night before our wedding. It was so good. The food was so good. And of course things went wrong, which I was like really panicked about going in and I think I'll do like a separate video if anybody cares on like things that went wrong or things that surprised me about the wedding because a lot of things happened that I didn't that didn't matter to me that I thought were really important and things went wrong and like people said like it just won't affect the day granted I'm sure people have had weddings where things go really wrong and it does affect the day but like for the most part it's just like little things going wrong tables aren't set up over here someone takes care of it blah 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 the music like my aisle song was messed up it was just like a little blip and then you move on and it just like you kind of are carried through the day and it just those things just don't matter and you can kind of laugh about them later like our dj was so bad <laughs> and we were like really unhappy with them but it didn't affect the day like luckily we had like they played music and we had a good enough playlist that like people were literally dancing and partying the whole night and had the best time and the dj became just this lore in our friend group that we like love to bring up sometimes and so it's just like becomes part of it um but i finally do feel like like i was kind of like on a cloud for like several days after we got back and now it's been two weeks and i'm like I do feel like back to regular life. I don't feel, I feel like that adrenaline rush has died, unfortunately, which is why I'm seeking the rush of doxycycline. Need another fix. And, um, yeah, but I love being married. It's like, doesn't, it's starting to finally sink in, but it like didn't feel real. Like when we, like, I remember like literally after we were like, I do. And then she, they pronounced us husband and wife. Like I was like, but not actually. Like it felt like, it felt like we were like putting on a play in a way, like the most beautiful, heartwarming, important play of my life. But also it just didn't feel like, I thought there would be this like shift. Like the way I felt when we got engaged. Like I was like, oh, not your girlfriend anymore. Ring on my finger, fiance. And that was just like this big exciting moment. This, because I think it was so like, like a performance it just like I was like no way and we're signing the papers and I'm looking at it and I'm just making sure I'm like did we do it right because it's just not feeling it like I'm just it's just weird but then I've like talked to other people and they're like no it feels like that like there isn't this like shift because it's like you know t we read our vows together and they were so beautiful and touching but like it wasn't like anything I hadn't heard or anything he hadn't heard before like we were already committed to each other so it was just more so this beautiful like display of love and and then I was like wait so this is my husband like it just felt weird and it's like so embarrassing to say it like weirdly more embarrassing than fiance because 
it's like bigger so it's like the day the first time I said like my husband to somebody was the day after our wedding the guys were there kind of like breaking down the event and they, one of them asked me something and I was like oh um my husband can come grab that table and I was like that was so embarrassing because it's like this guy knows I just got married he knows it's not rolling off the tongue yet you know what I mean like he's like your husband I'm like yeah but it still feels bizarre like Ted and I have been like calling each other husband and wife lately but it's more so out of like okay husband okay wife it's like it's not real but it's starting to feel real because it's just like you just got to kind of sit with it for a second and be like it, it's I feel like it has to be like when you become a parent it's this word that you hear that feels so grown up and no matter how old you get you never feel like grown up and so I'd imagine it's like you know the baby you know you prepare for it you you're pregnant for nine months and then you have the baby and they're like okay mom and you're like mom I guess it's true but like I don't know who that person is and so that's kind of what it feels like to me I'm like yes wife but like me wife I don't know her so no. um it's just weird who is texting me oh it's CVS my medication's ready so yeah I have posted a lot about it on Instagram and some on TikTok. So, but, you know, if you guys don't follow me there, first of all, do it because there's good stuff. And I even did like on Instagram stories, I did a whole recap of like the weekend and took you guys through it. And I posted it on my, I added it to highlights on my page. So you can go back and see that. I also posted, we got two teasers from our videographer and they're so beautiful. And then just some, we had so much footage because our friends were just so great and literally taking photos and videos all weekend. And so I've made some stuff with that. And so I posted those on my feed and on TikTok. We did actually just get a professional photo gallery back, but, and I did share a couple photos from that, just some like bridal portraits because um, we just want a few edits done, mostly just crops, like we want some like cropping. And so we did ask our photographer for that and we haven't heard back yet. It was kind of a lot, like we're kind of like, if she sent like a hundred photos, we're like, can you crop 50 of these? I feel bad, but it's like she wasn't cheap either and I just feel like some of them needed cropping. And we could do it ourselves, but we also like want to order the prints through her. And also just like we paid a lot, <laughs> so just crap them. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, so just kind of waiting on that. So technically we got them back, but I don't feel like they're ready yet. Um, we haven't gotten like our full wedding video yet because our package with our videographer, who was so amazing by the way. First of all, we're supposed to have one teaser, but then she made a second one because she was just like, obsessed and I'm like can't blame you sis and um and then we get a five to seven minute so the first is like teaser and then there's like a five to seven minute highlight which is like more in depth which I'm so excited for because I feel like that'll be like our wedding video and then we also purchased the raw footage so we'll get everything back and that you know Ted being an editor we'll be able to cut together something longer and um you know, whatever we want for our own self. If we want to make an hour long video, which I do, <laughs> then we'll be able to have that and get to watch that like every year on our anniversary or something. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick catch up and check in and I will end this video with, with those teasers. So the first one, we'll do a little, a little commotion for the dress. And then, um, which is one that I just put together with friend footage, with footage that my maid of honor Haley took of me in my dress. That made me feel pretty and that was like my big dress reveal on Instagram. And then the last two will be 
the teasers that Lauren, our videographer, put together. And she's so talented. I mean, you'll see. They're so cinematic and gorgeous. And, um, and yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see them. I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy. <laughs>